Hello everybody and welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. Robert Rambles here and thanks for joining me today. I did a little bit of research and poked around and this building over here, the arena, is something that we need right away. Training at the arena, minions gain plus two experience points, applies after victory except quest battles. So we could plug a low level in here and they could gain up to two experience which I believe could take them all the way to level 3 if you leave them in for two completed battles. So immediately here, I'm going to go ahead Becoming and I'm going to build that. All memories and useful skills from the subject. And However, then... New knowledge can be taught through the application of controlled combat. We'll throw this guy in there. And just see how this works. If it works like I think it does, the next time we beat a battle, he'll have a level to spend. And we should have probably built this really early on and been leveling up our B team and C team the whole time. So, you live, you learn, you die, you play again. Uh, so we'll see how things go. We do have a boss encounter next. I am not incredibly confident in this fight. I will say that. I actually think I'm taking that level 1 skeleton out and simply going to put another knight in place. That would make me feel a little bit safer. I'm going to keep the Wraith in because he's level 3. He's going to have some more abilities uh, amped up more so than our level 1 Banshee, so he should be a little bit more useful, I'm hoping. Hoping this party could get it done. If not, we'll have to do some retinkering and come back in. All right, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it, shall we? The keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives, arrange fights, and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as a king and the keys were his crown. As long as they were needed, he was needed. But the undead care not for the jingling metal. And for the man himself, they will have no need at all. So we're going to fight uh, the Keymaster, the Jailkeeper, or the Warden? Let's... Probably the Warden, I guess. Let's find out. Yeah, the big man back there has some keys. We need those to get out. So we've got Miners, we've got a Hunky, and we've got a Conscript. And then we got the Keymaster, the boss himself. 20 damage, lots of vigor, lots of sanity to work through. He's got, well, he's got three wards and three blocks. So that's going to be a lot to eat through to actually deal damage to him. We might want to focus down his adds first. And what I think I'm going to do is try to drive some of them insane. Like, I think we have a good shot. Maybe driving this guy insane. Let's see what we want to do. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Let's keep it that. Some good absorbs there. Alright, let's have her go ahead and power this up. Plus four to her attack for the rest of this match. And same thing here, I think I'm just going to focus... There we go. That was a quick insanity. So now his accuracy is down, his evasion is down, his luck is down. And that's going to help us out a lot, I think. Uh, for this guy... Maybe we just go physical on him. Maybe we drive him all crazy and see what kind of madness ensues. He's, he's He has more... Uh, more sanity than the other guy. Nice block there on the Wraith. Good ward for the, protecting him from the debuff. Uh, the stance is when I would have loved to have a skeleton, but he wouldn't be able to hit him in this third row anyway. So, there's that. Let's hit him with this. And then one of these. It's getting pretty low. Pretty low, and uh, we could probably finish him up with this. There we go, that's what we want. 
It just makes them so pathetic for most of their attacks, so... Oh, we got a debuff. Uh, negative 30 to accuracy, that, uh, that sucks. Let's remove all debuffs from us, and that's also going to give Aratus 8 mana. Oh, we're not that. That's not us. We're the other one right now. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Not a lot we really can do here. We could do this for now. Feudal hopes. Each time the enemy receives a buff, the Dark Knight will deal stress damage to it. Let's see if that yields any benefit this turn, if they buff each other or themselves. And for this guy, let's go ahead and have him remove this debuff. And we'll get some mana back for that. That might come in useful if we can build up a little bit more. Alright. Um, and maybe we just do the same with this guy. Eventually they could just die once they're at zero, of course. What else can we do? We do need to start thinking about working down his wards back there. So that's one gone. Just nice misses. Uh, and we might want to start just cranking out some actual physical damage. We're going to have to kill this guy eventually, which means breaking through. Oh, my darling, kill! Everything. And he obviously has a crap ton of health. Alright, what do we want to do now? I'd love to be able to attack with him, but I can't. Could possibly attack this guy. Oh, he had a block. We didn't pay too much attention to that. Uh, in that case... There we go. Maybe we get rid of these guys now, one at a time, keep them insane, see if that helps us. Jesus. Not what I wanted to see. Hmm. I'm not sure. Here we go. Maybe just a magic attack on this guy. Oh, that's, one that's wonderful. One wonderful. Vanishes from this world. Okay. Good shot, sweetie. And that was a dog collar rattling. That was my dog, Kelly. You might have heard in the background there. She feels the need to shake. Shake once she gets into my recording area. Fun times. Okay. Um, I really want to start wearing this guy down. We know we have to get through the blocks. Um, a skeleton would have been good for that too because we could have had a skeleton at a level where we had the attack that avoided the blocks. That would have been great. Let's try this. Oh, they, well that, that does it for both their blocks now. So I'm satisfied with that as long as we can keep us... Oh, shite. He is going to summon replacements. Well, let's do the same thing and get him thoroughly insane as quickly as we can. Um, that's only going to help us. We need a little bit more rage. We need these guys to be able to heal up. And now we know that it's not really worth killing them. But what else are we going to do? We can just work them down. And then finish them all off together-ish? We gotta put a lot more heat on this guy then. But with him way back there... Have a warm end, my friend. Ah, the friend. ward. Of course, the ward. I don't know about killing any more of these guys now. One less annoyance in the world. He's just gonna summon another one, right? And then another guy dies. Now he's gonna have two fresh troops. Whenever he wants to... Yeah, there's, uh... There's one. At least he didn't pull them both in at the same at the same time. Oh, betrayal! Yes. If we can get them to do some damage to him, that would be amazing. Let's keep at that. Oh, so easy, so easy with the rape to make him insane. These lower unit guys. 
And then we need to get him at least in the second row. Could start plucking away here with some physical damage. Of course, to get rid of his last... Oh, he's got... He's new. Yeah, he's got his blocks back. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, my darling, kill! We're, we're not getting a lot of damage on him, but... Uh, it's, it's going down ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. I really should have used that rage for their heal, I realize, but... Um, we'll see if that comes to bite us in the ass. There we go. They're a good combo for making guys go insane really fast. I really just need, um, we just need Rage. For one of these, I gotta keep one of these guys alive. At the very least. Come on, attack each other. You're all insane. Save there we go, that's what I like to see. Uh, what, what do we got? What do we got here? Loses all initiative? Jesus. Four armor. I don't like that at all. Oh, of course, he's in this position now where he can't... He can't do his magic attack. Which... Is sucky. I can't get him with that. That eats his last ward up, at least. We have a chance to get some damage on him. Three. But he redirected it. Because he has a 30% chance, a 33% chance to do that, apparently. There we go, there's a hit. Now I guess we just start chunking him with straight damage. Yes! Thank you so much. Random Miner. Thank you for missing. Ah, jeez. Okay, we can deal with it. But, uh, we gotta be quick. Nice, nice. One shot insanity? Yeah, take that. Without being in position, he can't do a whole lot. One more for the stockpiles. Well, that got him back up front where we needed him. Let's get some damage in before he summons another minion. Getting, getting really lucky here with some of this. Uh, these guys are not gonna make it if we can't get our rage up. It's It's just how it's gonna be They're just gonna t keep slowly taking damage till they're gone And they're not gonna get enough damage down on the main guy and then they're not gonna be able to hold up to his attacks um, And we have to take hits for the rage to go up for the most part that's like the fastest way that it increases But they're but they're missing or and then when they are hitting, they're hitting the guys we need to keep alive. So it's kind of a bad situation right now, actually. Especially because we can't clear too many of these guys out of here. Can I make this guy go crazy? No, not directly. Not really. He has a lot of sanity. But that didn't move him. Which... <laughs> we don't need misses right now, guys. We really can't afford misses. Yeah, 
These guys are gonna go down. Uh, There's one. Alright. Yeah, it's not good. And he's gonna miss a turn. Totally not good. I think that's a loss. I don't know, we could try to get him. Maybe with the archer we can get him. But it, it's not looking good, guys. We were close, we were close. I think the overall strategy worked. I blew my rage a couple of times when I should not have. And that is kind of what became a problem. Become part of the breathless tide. But we almost got him. Look how close we are. That burgeoning hope disgusts me. So close, so close. Ah. Better not make a habit out of this. Now I wonder if it's gonna be a full reset when we go back in. Or or what? What is that gonna be like? Um, well, we had this guy who did not get a heal because we didn't win a battle. We are going to have to just make a knight, if we even can. Every war needs its generals. Barely. Unfortunately, we don't have any brains left. With brains, really, we need to save for situations like this when we need to skill somebody up really quick. Because this is probably not going to go real great if we have to. Yeah, well, we'll see how this goes. I think this strategy of making them all insane was actually good because he's just going to keep pulling them in. They just need to attack him more in their, in their panic, I think, would help us out a lot. Yeah, it's just back to, like, fully reset. So I don't know if we're going to get this with the guys, with the units that we have. We'll see. Let's stick with the stress. Distinguish hope. We don't I don't think we have as much power to output. Well we might. We have the we have the banshee. Um for this guy, I think he can get some attacks off and ignore he can ignore armor. We really want to get him on him. Which means we gotta move everybody else back. Why did, oh, maybe he's not leveled up. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I don't, I don't see us getting this with this, with this group. <laughs> Your cries are music to me. Although that's nice to get the debuff when we hit them with it. All right, I guess I just have her keep doing that. Yikes. And he's gonna block this with his armor, isn't he? Yeah, I have to get through all that armor before we can start even hitting him. So I have to work on that, I think. I think I have to constantly work on that. Uh, okay. Let's eat through this armor. Betrayal already. It'd be nice if he could have hit, but at least he got through one of the one of the blocks.
Nice. That's what I like to see. This will get through it, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finish that off. Ah, he redirected this it. One voided its bowels and we just and we killed die. him, but we drove this guy insane by doing that. So not a total loss. Okay, now I have to remember, save my rage for this when he needs it. Uh, what to do here? We really need to move this guy up front so we can hit him with some things. That's what we really need to do. But yeah, besides that, we can eat through his last ward. Ah, oh, he just redirected it. It's a, not a very good ability. Oh, what? Nice, nice crit, buddy. The miner did a heck of a crit. Oh yes, move him around. That's what we need. It's okay. We can fix that. At least get somebody better up front. He's gonna bring in his buddies. That's why I was using this, just to get any and all damage on him. And he keeps redirecting the shots that I'm trying to wear the armor off so we can hit him with anything. There we go, the block is gone. Finally. Let's quickly drive this guy insane. As quickly as we can. But, uh, let's see. Alright, good. Now I can start pecking away at him a little bit earlier on in the fight. All of his wards are gone. Uh, one of these guys we could probably finish off. Let's just do this. No, let's do this. I wonder if we could take out one guy without him replacing him, if that's the trick. I'm not sure. But we'll find out. We'll take out this guy. I say that, and then of course I miss. Can't say things like that. <laughs> Cannot speak with surety, because if you speak with surety, then you will fail. <laughs> it's a good rule. It's kind of like Murphy's Law. I love the betrayal hits. I love the misses. Okay. Let's just keep this going. This never gets old. Okay. If we can get him a little closer. Every time. He has the worst accuracy. And we're gonna have to heal him up. We're at 100, so we need to burn that. Perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> ashes to ashes. There we go. Dust to dust. Let's grab our health back. And now we need to get these guys insane. Yeah, like, really quick, like right now. We need to have her rolling this, though. Will soon embrace oh, we got him. Existence. Oh, we got two of them. That's, like, great luck. Because now I can... I can keep doing some damage instead of switching over with her, and I can do this with him. And we get the last guy. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's keep them all crazy and kill one of them. Um, but they have armor, so that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Actually. Missed, buddy. Nice. 
Oh, we're gonna lose our skeleton. I have such bad luck with keeping skeletons alive. Oh, we needed him so much. I mean, you need everybody. That's the problem. Look at this. This guy's tearing us up out of nowhere. Okay. Um, he's not even at half. I feel like we're gonna lose her pretty soon. If not, immediately. Shot, sweetie. Not really anything useful I can do with this guy. And for her, I can just hope that this last act that she does helps a little bit. Carve open their husks. Keeps their uh, attack low. For a little bit longer while she's alive. It will take more than death to stop my legions. Well, we know what to do here. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Yep, and that's game over. That is game over, I think. Darling, kill. Let's see what we can get him down to, but yeah, we're, they're gonna annihilate us here in this probably this very first turn, or, or not. You know, we might get another round. All right, well, get another round at least. We don't have any rage for anything, but he's susceptible to that now, so that's good. Maybe could have hit him with that earlier. Yeah, once she goes down, though, that's it, I think. I don't have any ranged attack to get him back in that last row. He's gonna burn now, that's great. I need to think about getting that burn on him as soon as that ward is gone. That would have been really helpful. Just hit him with it again. He hasn't redirected. We've been really lucky about that. I think he might go down. The problem would be in getting the rest of these guys down. Especially with hits like that. Yeah, he's stunned now. Wonderful. Uh, let's hit them all. Oh! <laughs> oh, we got the boss. Maybe these guys will... Lose their minds or something now, I don't know. Well, they're not missing every hit, but... Um, yeah. Alright, well. This is my Maybe we got this one, guys. I shouldn't say that, but... This guy's got, uh... A lot of armor that we still haven't chunked through, so... There we go. All right. My hey, look at that. Is a tide that will wash away we, got, pathetic civilization. we got him with like not even the BA team, not the B team, but like the C team came in and just barely scraped a win out of that one. The burn was pretty imperative. I'd lay that down a lot sooner if I could go back and do it again. But yeah, we don't have a lot of soldiers left, but I'm really happy that we got him down. That's amazing. All right, so what we do have left is uh, some slim pickings. We're obviously going to be going to the drawing board. Let me get you out of there, you level one skeleton. Uh, you're level two now, that's, that's not bad. You can go in. Definitely, it's better than nothing. And um, over here, you can go in. As far as who needs heals, like you actually need heals really bad. You need heals even worse. You're going to have to come out 
anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do in here. I want to open that extra slot up. Alright, we've got no uh, a couple of things here. Mummy. A mummy is, at its core, a vessel of thousands of dark curses crammed together into one undead body. For this purpose, all unnecessary organs need to be removed to make space and the body bandaged generously to keep it all from leaking out. Quite a dangerous minion since even a slight touch can lead to several years of bad luck, which is why stories of what happened to the originator of this design are still passed around as cautionary tales among necromancers. Uh, so what's he do? Cursing touch, so... We got some physical attack with clinging wraps, so stress, vigor, another stress attack, impending horror, damage to the chosen target and the enemy standing behind it, absorb curses, support, removes all debuffs from allies, the mummy gains four vigor. Okay, someone had mentioned in the comment that the mummy was a healer, so it has a heal ability on itself, it does have a self heal. But this does not become a heal we can cast on another party member, doesn't look like. Uh, not in the same way you could with the clerics in Darkest Dungeon. At least. It seems like they're just going without, without heal spells. But it's really cool that he can get rid of all the debuffs and heal himself for each. Like, that's going to be a huge self-heal. Um, I think I want to make one of these. We also have a Lich. A powerful magical minion, but not really a true lich. Rather, these are pseudo-liches that borrow some of the designs made by necromancers of old. Most notably, these minions do not actually hold the soul of a necromancer. Instead, they serve as carriers for devastating spells that often sow destruction on both allies and enemies alike. They have, however, been known to take on the mannerisms of their creator, which can be so convincing that other undead tend to obey them. I don't like sowing destruction on my allies and enemies alike very much. Deals magic damage to a random enemy. Selected ally gains plus 12 attack. That's uh, incredibly good buff. I need that in my life. K support kills an ally and the Lich gains 40 health. I don't ever want to kill an ally. Creates a cloud at the target position for 2 rounds dealing 8 to to 21 stress damage any enemy that enters it. So that's good. That's a two round. And then Reign of Fire. Magic damage to all allies and enemies except itself. That's something I would probably never want to use. And then Reanimate. Summons a Skeleton. That's actually pretty cool. And what do we got here for the Head Hunter? A headhunter is a very specific manifestation of negative emotion, blind rage. As such, the resulting undead possesses immense power, but becomes rather difficult to control. Perfection takes time and proper we'll let him ingredients. Talk. They are still the minion of choice for any necromancer who prefers hearing the dying screams of their enemies over the chatter of the supposedly silent dead. Uh, what does he have going on? Dual slash, physical damage, text two random enemies. Catch him, physical damage, deals physical damage to a random enemy and moves it to the first position. Sense him, stress attack, damage to a random enemy. Okay, so a lot of their things are just going to target random enemies, even though they seem to put out quite a bit of damage. At the beginning of, of his next action, the Hellhunter deals physical damage to any enemy at the marked position. This attack doesn't spend an action, the Headhunter doesn't miss this attack. That's wonderful. Okay, we need one of these, obviously. I'm even going to leave this blue in there for good luck. Uh, yeah. Despite a lack of eyes, well, look at that. they know to aim for the neck. And then let's do a mummy. I like to keep the embalmed organs as uh, souvenirs. And then do we need to do... Um, can we even do... Yikes. Um, okay. Well, that might be okay. We do need to level up some things Serve here. me well, my minion. And then for the zombie, let's go... Ignores Ward. 
That could be My useful. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. And maybe for this guy, we could give him a four brain. Could make it pretty useful right off the bat. Um, eight to fifteen damage to the chosen target and the enemy behind it to two random enemies. So this gives us control over who it hits. We're going to take that. Back to back. That way we have some control over who he's going to hit. Deals damage to a chosen enemy, so a lot less damage, but again, we get to control it. Let's keep that one random and have I it ignore blocks. Expect results. Headhunter doesn't miss this attack. This the attack enemy loses all blocks and wards. That's now, actually really cool. Prove yourself that would have been useful in the boss fight. We could have blown away all of his wards once he got close to the front line. All right, I think that's good. As for like what we want our party to consist of, that I don't know. He has a lot of HP. Not as much armor or resistance as the Dark Knight. Whoops. And yeah, so maybe having him in the front line isn't the greatest idea, but right now, um, maybe we do something like that. Zombie has more health. That might work. I kind of want to see what he's about. And yeah, like I said, it's a shame we didn't save some of our brains. We could have really used him now. I think I'm gonna take a break here. Obviously when we come back we are going through this exit and we are gonna be in the Dwarf Tunnels. So that's pretty exciting. I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting little men with beards. Stout probably with axes and swords. So we'll see. Pretty excited. Glad we got the boss down. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are still having fun with this one. I definitely am. Everybody take care now and wish me luck. We'll see you soon.